Hello, and welcome to Verbling. Uh, for the next hour, we are going to uh, have a class. We'll do a little vocabulary work and uh, a lot of conversation. We're going to talk about outdoor activities. And I have a little slideshow to share with you with lots of pictures. We're going to learn the vocabulary involved, some vocabulary invo involved with uh, or rather related to these at outdoor activities and talk about them. Do you do them or not? We'll talk about experience. We'll also do a little comparison work today. We'll, we'll compare which would you rather do? Which would, what would you never do? <laughs> For example, uh, okay, Tatiana, welcome to the class. Hello. Hello again. Thanks, teacher. I'm here. Thanks. You are. <laughs> Pleasure to have you here. Okay. Uh, all right. Are, are, you, uh, are you somebody who enjoys outdoor activities or not so much? Are you more of an indoor or an outdoor person? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's an either or question. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I want to have a second lesson with you. Okay. I, I have time now. Great. All right. Our lesson is about outdoor activities. Do you like to do outdoor things or indoor things? No, thanks. <laughs> no? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you like to do outdoor sports and activities, or do you like to do indoor things like playing games or reading books? Or would you rather go outside and go hiking or horseback riding? Mm, I, mm, I have a holiday week, and I um, have time uh, uh, um, on sport, on English, on yoga, on da uh, Arabic dance. I have uh, much uh, time. Okay. The question is in pre present tense, which do you prefer normally in your normal life? Not any yes. specific time. But okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we'll come back to you, Lemmy. Welcome, Carolina. Hi, Carolina. Welcome to the class. Carolina, hello? Hi. Hello. How about. Hi. How about you, Carolina? Are you more of an outdoor person or an indoor person? Do you like outdoor activities, like sports, uh, or indoor activities? Reading a book, playing chess, sewing. Which, which do you prefer, generally? It depends on my mood. Very good. Good answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because... Okay. Uh, I prefer, the most of the time, I prefer to go out, uh, maybe um, go to the cinema or uh, doing some kind of sport, but other times I prefer to stay at home and watching TV and uh, surf on the, on the internet, so it depends. Okay, good answer. It depends on your mood, okay? Mm -hmm. um, right. And I would probably answer the same way. It depends on my mood, how I feel at a particular time, my mood. Whether I want to stay home and read a good book or go, go out and socialize or play sports or something like that. Good answer. Uh, okay, I'd like also like to welcome Julio. Hi, Julio, again. Hello again, teacher. Hello again. Uh, okay, Julio, how about yourself? Are you more of an outdoor guy or an indoor guy? Do you, do you like uh, outdoor activities or indoor activities? Um. Now I am more like an indoor guy, okay. but I want to do uh, some risk things in the future. Ah, 
good. We're going to look at lots of risky things today. <laughs> Actually, risky is the word. Risky. Yeah, risky uh, things. Or um, in English, we often say categorize these risky things uh, as extreme sports or extreme uh, activities. Okay. Okay. We often say extreme sports. Okay, well, we're definitely going to talk about extreme sports, but we're going to start off with uh, a little more usual or common outdoor. Again, we're talking about outdoor activities. Usual or common activities or usual or common outdoor activities. Uh, okay, Tatiana. Yes. All right. What are these two sports that you see think, depicted? I think it's, uh, it is a beach volleyball. Yeah. All right. Excellent. I think the other one is different. If you look at the ball carefully, maybe not. <laughs> I can't tell. I I think no. You think no? I can't tell no. if the second, the bottom picture. I can't tell if that's a volleyball or a basketball, honestly. Mm. Uh, whoops. Sorry. I'm not sure. Okay. Tatiana, do you ever, or, okay, present perfect tense. We're going to practice using present perfect tense because when we talk about our experiences, we frequently use present perfect tense. So, have you ever played beach volleyball? Yes, I have. Okay. Good short answer. Uh, okay. Do you enjoy playing beach volleyball? Yes, I enjoy because I I am very active active uh, woman uh, and and now and uh, when I was young I too was very active. Okay, what do you mean when you were young? You're not still young. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Moving on, more regular kind of activities. Here we we've got three. Carolina. All right. What are the three activities depicted in these pictures? First of all. The first one is golf. Uh huh. The second one is maybe tennis. Looks like it. And the last one is soccer, maybe. Soccer or football? Yeah. So football. Okay. If, if I gave you a choice uh, and you could do any of these three activities next weekend in the future, which activity would you prefer to do? Uh, maybe I choose, I will choose golf because uh, a few years ago I was trying to learn about Golf, so maybe it's a good a good time for a return of that sport. Okay, um, okay. Just to clarify something here, you mm -hmm. said you you were trying to learn about golf. Mm -hmm. it's, it means something different when you're saying if you said I was trying to learn golf, mm -hmm. or saying I was trying to learn about <laughs> golf. If you're learning about golf, you're learning, I don't know, the rules and uh, uh, how it's played, uh, where it's played, when it's played, and things like that. You're learning mm -hmm. about it. If you're learning golf, that means you're learning physically how to play the game. Okay, so there's a slight difference in meaning. I did uh, both things. I trying to right. learn about golf, and I trying to practice golf. golf. Right, right. There you go. Okay. In which case, you're learning both things. You would normally say, "Oh, I was trying to learn golf," or "I was trying to learn to golf." You could say. Okay. 
Have you played a, an entire game of golf? No, teacher. No. I only... I, I only did, what can I say that, through the balls, 50 balls, in a, in a small camp, field. How can I say that? I, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's, I'm like not a, sure. it's like, a, it's like a, a kind of practice, and you have to go to the special field, and uh, they g gave you only 50 or 100 balls. And right. You always practice your swing? Sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm having a mind blank. What is that called? Uh, you went to the uh, shoot uh, the range, the golf range, shooting range or golf range. Yeah, it's shooting. Shooting golfs. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, golf range. You go to a golf range. You practice. They have signs out in the field, like 50 yards, uh, 100 uh -huh. yards, or meters, or whatever. Uh -huh. 150 meters, whatever, like that. Yeah, okay. And then you try to, the, the man drives the little cart around the field, picking up the balls with the machine, and you try to hit him with the golf ball. <laughs> uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. I, okay. Shh. Don't tell. All right. Okay, I do. All right. Uh, golf is a very difficult game. Yeah, it's and too difficult. Do you have a lot of patience? You need a lot of patience to mm -hmm. learn golf. You really do. You have to be patient with yourself, which is mm -hmm. the hardest thing, really. Yeah. Uh, okay. When I was young, I played, I, I didn't play, I did play a little bit of golf, I learned. And I also, I worked as a caddy when I was young. I lived right next to a golf course, and I worked as a mm -hmm. caddy. Do you know what a caddy is? Yeah, yeah, the person who accompanied a golfer. Yeah, very good. Accompanies and assists. Hands him the mm -hmm. club, and if you're a really good caddy, you actually make suggestions and give advice. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you're not, you just carry the, <laughs> the bag around. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. How about the other sports here? Have you ever played tennis? Have you ever played soccer? At the university, I was in a team of soccer, a soccer team. But I was really bad at soccer, so I give up. <laughs> Okay. And yes, your correction was correct. Uh, I was on a soccer team. We don't normally say a team of soccer, but okay. use soccer as an adjective for team, a soccer team. Okay. Have you ever played tennis? No, maybe I want to learn about tennis, but in the future, no, no. One time at the... No. I have to focus in one sport. <laughs> yeah. Tennis is also very time-consuming to, to learn. Uh, it doesn't take long to learn how to play soccer, really. Um, but, you, as you said, you can be really good at it or really bad at it, of course. But it takes a long time to uh, learn golf and tennis, absolutely. Yeah, you kind of have to dedicate a lot of time. Okay, I'm going to move on to uh, another slide and another student. Julio, what are the three sports outdoor activities or sports depicted in these photos? The first one is biking. Okay, maybe even mountain biking. Or mountain biking. Mm -hmm. Okay. The second is um, I don't know the word uh, camping. Yeah, yeah, camping. You you do know the word. Yes. Yes. Uh, camping. Actually, yes, it is. Very good. 
And how about the one um, at the bottom here? The last one is fishing. Indeed it is. Okay, now if I said, uh, if I gave you three choices, what do you want to do this weekend? Which one would you pick? Um, probably the first one. Mountain biking? Okay. Yep. Uh, why? Because uh, I I have a a bike for mountains, mm -hmm. but I never ride uh, uh, in a mountain. I usually <laughs> ride at the streets. Okay. Uh, again, very similar to we don't say team up soccer. We don't we don't say bike for mountains. We say mountain bike. That's it. So you have a, all right, you have a mountain bike already. Uh, okay. Do you? Is it? Is it really a mountain bike? Is it all outfitted for mountain biking? Do you have like shocks? Front shocks. Uh, front shocks. Yeah, like a, even in this picture, you can see the red things here. Ah, okay, like a suspension? Yes, like suspension. Not like suspension. Yes. Exactly, suspension. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, uh, my bike ha have a uh, suspension and uh, uh, mountain bike stuff. All right, knobby tires? Yes, yes. Okay, with a deep, deep tread. Okay. Uh, are there any mountains near where you live? Can you can you get to the mountains or to trails? Yes, yes I have a, a mountain near my home, but I I never go there. <laughs> okay. One of, is it is, is it is it one of these days kind of thing? Is it something you've thought about before? One of these days, I will go. Yes. Yes. Be okay. Because I uh, first I need to to improve my condition, my ah. Your yeah, physical. my condition, my physical yeah. condition. Physical condition. You should be more specific. Use an adjective. Yeah. My physical. Condition. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's fair. Fair yes, enough. I'm I'm practicing that first. <laughs> okay. And um, uh, regarding these other two photographs, uh, have you ever been camping? Yes, but uh, when I was a child. All right. So could you could you pitch a tent if you had to? Do you know how to set up a tent? And the common verb is pitch. A With, without a manual manual. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't think so. <laughs> you, just, you just answered the question. Never mind. Uh, yeah. Okay, gotcha. And how about the last picture? Have you ever been fishing? No, I never uh, do that. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, uh, I, I think yeah. that maybe it's a little boring. Yeah. Uh, or do you need to, to have a lot of patience? Yeah, and I don't have uh, patience. <laughs> That's you know it's, it's okay. I used to love to fish. I I don't har I don't fish anymore very rarely, but I used to fish a lot. And people who've never gone fishing always think it's so boring. It seems so boring. You have to be so patient. <laughs> but it's actually yeah. not true. You're basically busy, and your mind is busy at all times. You would be surprised. You're you're fixing your tackle, fixing your rod and reel. You're doing things. You're having lunch. You're having a soda pop or a beer or putting on mosquito spray. Or <laughs> it's amazing. And then you get a bite and you try to catch a fish and you miss them, so you cast out again. But you realize you need another sinker or you want to try another lure. It's unbelievable. Really, the fact is that you're very busy the whole time. Um, 
And the time goes by so fast. People think it's really boring and you just sit there and it must take forever. <laughs> Not really. Okay, anyway, I'm going to move on because uh, we have another student. I want to say hello to Ken. Hi, Ken. Yes, hello. How are you? I'm good. Mm -hmm. uh, we're basically using photographs here to mm -hmm. talk about outdoor activities. We okay. just kind of wrapped up talking about some of the more normal sports and activities on to the more unusual uh, sports and outdoor activities. Okay. Ken, here you go. Okay. What, are th what are these people doing? I think, uh, I don't know how does it say, uh, uh, off-road <laughs> driving or something uh, by using OWD Jeep. Uh huh. Uh, okay. Uh, off roading. We even use it as a as a verb, or or, or is that a gerund noun? I, okay. You mm -hmm. go. You can go off roading. Um, kind of a hyphenated road. Off roading. Uh, sure. Uh, okay. Um, or sometimes, like the first, the top picture. Uh, sometimes it's called four-wheeling. Four-wheel. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, the first one. 4W means four-wheeling. 4WD is there. Is it 4WD. Oh, okay, all right. Well, let's talk about that. 4WD. That okay. actually, it's an acronym. It represents four-wheel drive. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Four-wheel drive. Uh, so a truck, you know, like a car, a truck can be four-wheel drive. Mm -hmm. uh, most of these four-wheelers you see in the top picture, they're usually four-wheel drive because you're driving through, like in the picture, mud and steep inclines and the like. Uh, okay, and the slight difference with the bottom picture here, you know, Bigger mm -hmm. one here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you know what the bottom one is called? What are they driving? Uh, I think uh, I forgot the word. Maybe I knew it, but <laughs> I forgot now. Uh, hot what? rod. What's hot that? Rod. Hot rod. Hot rod? Uh, yeah. Not exactly. Oh. I would call it a dune buggy. Oh, okay, I don't know. Originally, this kind of design was for driving on sand, sand dunes. Yeah. Um, okay. A hot rod is a little different. A hot rod are those things that they drag race with. Um, they they drive in a straight line for like I don't know half a kilometer or a kilometer, really fast. Drag racing, no turns, just straight ahead, side by side. Those cars that they drive are, mm -hmm. are called hot rods. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so Ken, mm -hmm. have you ever done either of these activities? Um, here? Actually, uh, beach close to my house, somebody, somebody enjoying this uh, road kind of OW driving on the sand beach. Mm -hmm. And actually, it damaged the the pine tree uh, died. So it uh, newspaper reported that after that the beach a fence, you know, was was built at uh, that uh, beach because okay. it prevent protect uh, you know uh, pine trees. So sometimes mm -hmm. uh, the driver needs to be careful about uh, you know where do they they are doing. It could damage the nature roots or. Beach or yeah, I, I, I agree with that totally. Okay, after that, the beach was fenced in. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can use fence to fence. You can use that as a verb, Ken. So the okay. beach was fenced oh, yeah. in. Fenced yeah. in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, or even as a phrasal verb, to fence in an area. Uh, yeah, I totally agree. I, I, I like hiking and camping a lot, and I hate it when mm. uh, 
off-road vehicles and motorcycles tear up, yeah, the trail. That's kind of a shame. Mm -hmm. I don't mind if they have their own designated area. Have you ever tried this? Have you ever driven one of these things in the top uh, picture? When I was a kid, uh, in a park, amusement park, you know, some, some kind of this kind of, not this like adult kind of, adult toy, adult toy like thing, but the small. Oh, right. Yeah. Right, they have the miniature ones. Yes, right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I've seen those. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. My advice for anyone, if you ever do this, any of you guys, wear a helmet like this guy in the picture, please. Because, believe it or not, I, I rode motorcycles as well as these. You know something? These things with four wheels are lot, a lot easier to tip over or roll. You would not think so. You would think two wheels, motorcycle, easy to have an accident. Actually, actually they're not. Actually, these things are really unstable. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, my uncle had one, and I rolled it down a hill. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, not a big deal. I was just going across the hill, not up and down the hill, but across it, and it, it just fell over. It's too top heavy. There's too much weight on the top. So the center of gravity, the balance, is high. So it's very easy to fall over. So anyway, no one think I didn't think that, but wow. Okay. Moving on. Hoo-hoo. Wrong time of year, but that's okay. Tatiana. I'm here. Yeah. Uh it is mountain. It is beautiful mountain. Mountains. Uh, yeah. There are is uh, there are beautiful mountains. Uh, I um, every day every day I see a beautiful mountains, but because I. I Oops, you were clear at first, Tatiana, and then you're. I heard the robotic voice of disconnection. Are you still here? <clears throat> I know you're still here, but are you still connected? Because we can't hear you. Darn it all, you seemed quite enthusiastic about talking about this and I was enthusiastic to talk to you. Tatiana, I'm really sorry, but I can't hear you right now. You might want to try Hello? I heard something. Okay. You might want to try leaving the hangout and coming back. You might give that a try because we, we lost you on connection. Okay. Well, Carolina, let me move it over to you then. Carolina, what are the sports depicted here? This is for... Is a uh, ski? Sky? Skiing? Skiing? Yes, skiing. Mm -hmm. There's a little Y sound in there. Ski ying. Skiing. Uh huh. Skiing. In the top. Okay. Uh huh. Hey, how about and the bottom? Said, yeah. I don't know, teacher. <laughs> you don't? Really? Okay, let's get some help. From your fellow students. Who knows what the second picture is, the bottom picture? Julio? Ken? Snowboarding. Uh, of it's course. Snowboarding. That's snowboarding. That mm -hmm. is correct. Okay, I'm going to go out on a limb here, Carolina, and say that you've never been snowboarding. <laughs> no, teacher. Uh, I, am, I am afraid of do that. Okay. How about skiing? Have, have you been skiing? No? No, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you do you participate in any winter sports? No, because here in Colombia we don't have any snow, so it's too difficult to go someplace mm. with the snow for practicing that kind of sports. Right. Okay. How about skating? Did you ever have you ever learned skating? Yes, but. I never did I, it with ice, no. 
with ice. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Yes, I can understand. Colum uh, I can understand that. Does Colombia have uh, a Winter Olympics team? No, teacher. We don't have seasons. Not at all. There's no Winter no. Olympics team at all. Okay. No, no, no. I, I can understand. In the Philippines, we have a Winter Olympics team, and and he is one person. <laughs> oh. <laughs> one one ice skater. That's it. It's the only one. Yeah. So uh, I can understand. So you're scared? Would you ever try skiing or snowboarding if you had a chance? No, maybe I will try. Maybe, yeah. okay. yes, maybe. But I am not sure. Maybe I, I will do it someday. Yeah? Okay. Uh, it's a lot. It's one of my favorite. I love both of these, skiing and snowboarding. But I'm much better at skiing. But snowboarding is very painful to learn, Carolina. Mm -hmm. I have to tell yeah. you. Because... Okay. Skiing, you can bend your knees and fall down, but snowboarding, generally, you fall forward or fall backwards, mm -hmm. like thump, like uh, completely. You don't crumple to the ground; you just smash the ground. <laughs> it's painful. Wow. Yeah, and I know you're not. Does it ever snow in in uh, Colombia, Carolina? Never, teacher. Never. Never snows in the Philippines Never. either. Okay. Never. All right. So have you ever experienced snow? No, teacher. No. When I was living no, when I was living in Australia, uh, I was waiting for winter because maybe I was I think that uh, in Australia it's snowing but Never happens. <laughs> but no. Yeah, New uh, New Zealand. You would need to hop on over to New Zealand. New Zealand is has some pretty good skiing, uh, so I've heard. I would love to ski New Zealand. Okay. okay. Uh, so you never saw it. Uh, okay, it's two things, Carolina. One, <laughs> snow is cold. <laughs> <laughs> I know, teacher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And number two, it looks fluffy and soft. It is not. It is not. Sometimes it's fluffy and soft, like right after it snows a lot. But more often than not, it's more like concrete. Okay. <laughs> it's like wet concrete. Yeah, it's hard. I, I did. I did in in Australia in Kangaroo Island. Near to Adelaide, sun is is not thin. Ah. Uh, it's a, yeah, but but it it was in a small mountain, so it was nothing. But I I I did one time. Okay, what is that? What's it called again? Sun, sun is thin with like a yeah. desert. Okay, sand surfing. All right. Yes, okay. Sun surfing. Crazy. All right. I've never tried that. I'd like to try it. Did it does it hurt if you fall down or you fall yes, off? Of course. Okay. Yes, All of right. course. Checking. Yeah. All right. Okay. Moving on. Uh, Julio. Oh, you're more in the water again. Uh, okay. Julio, what are these three? Related but slightly different uh, sports, outdoor activities. Yes. Okay. What are they? Do you uh, know? Um, the, the first one is boating? Uh, no. Well, they're all forms of boating. Okay, but what is the type of boat that the people in the top left picture? Are using? Do you know? No, I don't. The first, I don't. Okay. Does anybody know? Ah, uh, Carolina or Ken? Canoeing. Very good. 
The boat is called a canoe, and the sport is called canoeing. Okay. Uh, rivers and lakes, you can do canoeing. Uh, okay. Julio, back to you. The second picture on the top, on the right. That's a kayak. Yes. So, again... But I, I don't know uh, the ENG of kayak. Kayak? Kayak? No? Ka uh, just add ING. So, kayaking. Kayaking. Canoe? Canoe canoeing. Kayak? Kayaking. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> is the sport. Uh, okay, and the bottom picture... Uh, sailing boat. Yeah, or just sailboat. Sailboat and sailing. That's it. Sailing. Yeah, sailing. Sailing. Of course, there are many, many types of sailboats, of course. Ones that, you know, one person can, a little sunfish or something that one person can handle, and then there's really, you know, big ones, uh, obviously. Okay. Uh, have you done any of these boat-related sports, Julio? Yes, I did the, the first one. Really? Canoeing. Really? Cool. Well, tell me a little about it. Where were you? When? When? Where? With who? Um, well, was in a, in a trip with the family of my ex-girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And we were in a lake, and we rented uh, some boats, mm -hmm. and did canoeing. Okay. We we rent like uh, four boats for me, uh -huh. my girlfriend, and her sisters and cousins, oh. and we made. We made uh, some kind of competition between us. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yes. A little race. A little race. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Uh, okay, Julio, you're on a lake, not in a lake. If you're swimming, you're in a lake. But if you're in a canoe, in a canoe, you're on a lake. <laughs> Ah, okay, okay. That, so you swim, swim in the lake. You in a canoe on the lake. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. And by the way, with any ing activity, whatever it is, you we normally use the verb to go. So we went canoeing. We're going to go canoeing. Uh, all right. We went kayaking. We went sailing last weekend. So we generally use go with ing, activities with ing. Not generally, it's basically a rule. Okay. 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 That's, that's okay, cool. Okay. Did you win the race? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but no. I don't finish at the least. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Uh, okay, how about, uh, have you ever been kayaking or sailing? Um, sailing, no, never. Never? And kayaking, no, no. No? Okay. No, I wish. I wish, uh, yeah. I, I used to own my own canoe. I used to own a very beautiful handcrafted canoe. It was awesome. Uh, anyway, not anymore. I like boating. <laughs> Sailing is very fun, very exciting, actually. Yeah, uh, a little dangerous, or no? A little bit. Yeah. When the when the boat's going fast and you're in the wind, and the boat's going fast, ideally the boat is actually going forward. The actual deck of the boat is at a 45 degree angle. So you know you're at an angle. <laughs> yeah, you Going almost touch fast. The, the water. Uh, yeah, it's quite exciting. Yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, okay, moving on. Ken, we're going to move on. Okay, how about this mm -hmm. next sport? 
sports. Uh, okay. All right. It's a mix of windsurfing and parasailing. Yeah. Uh, parasurfing, I think. Is yeah. it winds, <laughs> windsurfing? Parasurfing, I think it's called. Yes. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, those guys are crazy. Um, it's really fun to watch it on TV. Would you ever, have you ever tried, or would you ever try this first picture, mm -hmm. uh, parasurfing? I, I think one time when I was, when I uh, went to the beach, yeah, somebody doing this strange sport. <laughs> now, yeah. All right. But you've never tried it. I've never tried. I tried windsurfing. Oh, you did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wind surfing or wind sailing? Wind. I we call uh, it wind surfing. No, no. Surf, surfboard has, uh, you know, uh, sail, sail. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Wind surfing. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Right. Right. So pair. Okay. Parasailing, I don't know. There, there's so many varieties, I get all confused. Windsurfing, I think that's coming up in the next slide, but anyway. Okay, the bottom slide, Ken, is... Uh, no, it's not. The bottom slide is uh, what? The bottom picture, rather. Sorry. Bottom picture is just a surfing. See, surfing. Okay. Normal surfing. Have you ever tried surfing? Yes, but uh, I prefer windsurfing. Surfing is yeah. difficult to, you know, even the sta even stand up like this is it was very difficult. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I prefer windsurfing. It is very difficult. For some reason, I, you know what? I I tried windsurfing and I tried regular surfing. I hated windsurfing. I could not stand up. Probably <laughs> because there was like no wind. <laughs> And it has some knack. I need. I. I. It took one uh, day or so to set up. Just set up for bell. Ah, okay. Kind of yeah. Some knack. Get get a, the, a knack. Get the, get the knack of yeah. something. All right. Yeah. Look for angle to get rid of the water, and then you can set up. Okay. Get the knack of something. Great. Glad you brought that up. Yeah. I. I spent four hours of my entire life trying to get the knack of windsurfing, and I could, just couldn't, and I gave up. <laughs> so frustrating. It's so heavy, that sail, once it's full of water. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> you get tired. Get up, get, 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 uh, get, uh, get rid of the water at the beginning. So, yeah. proper angle. I, it, there is a proper angle to get rid of the water. After yeah. that sail... It's gonna be a light, light Maybe it's yeah. Yeah, that was my problem. Maybe I never figured out the first step. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, surfing, however, came fairly natural to me. I, I was able to get up on the board the very first time I ever tried. Not for long, you know, for whatever, three seconds or something. But I was able to stand up. Probably because all my life I skateboarded and snowboarded uh, and yeah, skied. That's right. Yeah, very similar, yes. Yeah. Kind of bad thing. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that's why. Right. Anyway. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Moving on. Carolina. All right. You've got four pictures. Okay. What? One of them is para, para gliding. Paragliding, which one? Okay, practice uh, describing the picture or where something is in a picture. Uh, the person who is flying with Aha. with a triangle. Okay, how about we try using these kind of descriptions? In the upper right hand corner, in the bottom left, in the bottom right. Uh, okay. okay, in the bottom left. Bottom left. What is that? Para, para, para gliding? No. No? No, it's not. That's hang gliding. Oh, okay. That's hang gliding. 
Uh, that's why I wanted to know. I think the top right corner, he is paragliding. Oh, okay. Because he has like a parachute and he's flying around. Okay. All right. Uh, the first uh, one is bungee jumping. Yes, it is. Okay, very good. Um, I don't know the name of the last one. He's jumping, but I don't know. Well, he's not. You, you, can yeah. you see that? I don't know if you can see the line. Okay. I guess it's just like I can see the line. Yeah. Okay. So that's called a zip line. I guess the activity is called zip lining. <laughs> zip lining. Uh, okay. Carolina, have you ever tried any of these? No, teacher. No, no, no. Okay. If I, if I told you, uh, come on, Carolina, we're going to go bungee jumping next weekend. Okay. Would, you, would you go? <laughs> I go with you, but I, <laughs> I can't try. <laughs> You're not going to jump? No, no, no. Yeah. Okay. It's fun. It's really fun. It's really exciting, actually. I've done it before. Very exciting. Uh, yeah, off a bridge over a river. Yeah. And the guy hooking me up, putting on these, and I did it just like this woman. I probably looked just like her. Um, with the leg thing, same kind of strap, same deal okay. here. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the guy who was hooking me in, his nickname was Satan. So it was a little mm -hmm. scary. <laughs> <laughs> Some guy named Satan is about to throw you off a bridge. It's a little frightening. Anyway, it's not really, you know what's the scary part? It's not really the jumping off part, or at least not for me. I did a lot of cliff diving and cliff jumping before diving, swimming diving. So it wasn't really that part that was really freaked me out. It was the part where you come back up. <laughs> but uh, okay. But, like, your breakfast stays down below, but the rest of you goes back up again. <laughs> That's the scary part. Okay. Would you try any of these sports? Someday I would like to try the paragliding, but with someone with me. Okay. Uh, all right. In paragliding or hang gliding or... Um, well, actually, even bungee jumping, I think. Uh, okay. Or even zip line. Any of these kind of sports where you're jumping, if you jump with another person or, or skydive, tandem. Right? A tandem jump. So you, you would like to do a tandem paraglide like that. Okay. Uh, yeah. Actually, all of these sports have, usually have, you can do it in tandem. How about zip lining? You never done that? Tried that before? Mm, I never done, but maybe I will try to. Uh, have you ever heard about this in Colombia? Uh, we have a city near to Venezuela, mm -hmm. and there are a lot of uh, mountains there, so I know that. Uh, in that place, we can do that. Ah, okay, all right. It's mm -hmm. becoming more and more popular here in the Philippines. You can find zip line places uh, all over the place. A lot of volcano mountains, so very steep mountains. So, I guess relatively easy to set up zip lines. I don't know. Anyway, I, I looks like a lot of fun to me. Okay, moving on, Julio. All right, next activity. What are these people doing? Um, paint, paintball. In the first one? Yeah. First one? Like paintball? Yeah. Okay. And the second one? Um, archer or arching. <laughs> Close. Archery. <laughs> archery. Archery. Huh? That's it. Archery. 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 That's it. Okay. All right. 
Uh, have you ever tried paintball? No, never. I always uh, want to try this with my friends. Okay. But Me too. I always never. wanted to. I've never gone. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's do it. Yeah, this is one I've never tried. I'd really like to try, actually. But I would want a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shot the head. Okay. Yeah, some Let's people some people ball. said that the balls uh, hit with a lot of power in your body. That's what I've heard. And it hurt. And, uh, that's, <laughs> yes. that's what I heard as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's why my friends don't want to go with me. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Are they afraid of you? <laughs> your friends are afraid of you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. They're cowards. At least you admit it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Have you... They're cowards. All right. Have you ever tried <laughs> archery? Um, no, never. Interestingly, insanely, oh. I don't know. I, I learned archery in high school. They taught us archery. In, in PE, physical education class. Uh, I learned archery, strangely <laughs> enough. Yeah, they had us shooting arrows in the high school. Crazy, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm an, I'm an American. It's okay to shoot guns and fire arrows at school. <laughs> it's okay. All right, really. Yeah, yeah. I, I only did in video games. All right, okay. Takes a lot of technique, uh, I'll tell you that. But it's fun. Um, it's interesting. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna move on. Um, let's see. Ken. Okay, I'm definitely gonna need some help here, Ken. Uh, Ken, the top picture. Okay, that one's fairly easy. What, what are they doing there? Trekking. Trekking. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mountain climbing, Everything hiking. Climbing. Mm -hmm. Doesn't I don't know. It doesn't look like anything I'd need a helmet for, but they've all got helmets, so I don't know if they're doing some serious mountaineering. Mm -hmm. When you're when you get into using the ropes and all mm -hmm. that and the um, different equipment, mm -hmm. uh, it's called mountaineering. But yeah, you're just hiking or trekking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Okay. I don't know what this other guy's doing. I don't know the word for this, Ken. Me neither. <laughs> what is this I, guy doing? I don't know. I this. saw this kind of, you know, attraction, but I don't know how does it call. Uh, I okay, I don't know what it is called. That's what it is called. Yeah. Uh okay. Is it some kind of obstacle course? Is that the idea? Yes, and maybe this kind of uh, there's a root of the mountain or in the wood. Right. A lot of this kind of attraction. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess um, I think that's called. Uh, maybe I don't really know. Actually, I I'm mm. guessing. Oh, we're going to go run an obstacle course this weekend, is how I would say it in English. Yeah, have you ever tried this obstacle course running, Ken? I'm not running, but uh, I try this type of attraction. You have? A so scary one, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did, did you embarrass yourself, or did you impress everyone? <laughs> <laughs> Not so impressed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it usually it's not so high, you know. That this attraction, as attraction, it should not be dangerous. So yeah, well, not deadly. Or, uh, safety net <laughs> under the, right. the yeah, yes. Right. I yeah, it shouldn't be deadly um, mm -hmm. at the very least. Yeah, I think this guy. He seems to have a safety harness on, 
it looks mm -hmm. like to me. He's mm -hmm. got a safety harness attached to Bob. So if he falls, he's not going to mm -hmm. die. Uh, okay, how about trekking? Trekking? Uh, I'm a sea person, more than mountain person. So. I climb mountain, and, but not so high mountain only. And it's rare. Okay. Uh, have you ever gone for an overnight or long distance trek where you had to camp out one or two nights or something, or three or four? Uh, no. Two weeks? Okay. No, I camped um, my friend's uh, garden when I was a kid. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> that was fun. <laughs> and okay. okay. I used to really enjoy doing this trekking ridge tops. Do you know what I mean? Ridge top. Uh, ridge. Yeah. You reach to the top of the mountain. Ridge top. So, uh, so like a mountain, um, a mountain, uh, they connect with each other, okay, and, and that uh, the highest point that connects them from the very top of a mountain, and then if you stay on the highest point and go to another mountain, that's called a, a ridge or a ridge line, mm -hmm. okay. So if you hike along that ridge line, um, okay, that's ridge line or ridge top trekking. So you go from the highest point of a mountain to the another, the next highest point of a mountain, and, and so on. And so, oh, Ken fell off the mountain. Yeah, uh, something happened to my connection. <laughs> okay, it's all right. We we've, we've only got a minute left anyway. Uh, okay. Uh, last one. Ken, have you ever ridden a camel? Yes, I did. Carolina, you did? Really? You rode a camel? Yes. <laughs> yes. But it was a small riding okay. because, I don't know, I paid $10 for a small riding. There you go. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. Where? Yeah. San Diego Zoo or something? No, in Australia. I don't uh, know what happened with, with, with Australia and Saudi Arabia, but Saudi Arabia gave to Australia a lot of camels. Yeah, I've heard of the that. desert. Yes. So yeah. I, 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 I met an, a camel in Australia. You met a camel. You <laughs> met a camel and you rode it. I, Yes, and I, I feed a camel. <laughs> and you fed a camel. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I rode a camel to San Diego Zoo. I don't know if that really counts, no. but anyway. Okay. Which activity? All the activities we looked at or ones we didn't look at, which one would you really like to try, Carolina? Mm, paragliding. Again? I want to try that. Para, para gliding, para, para gliding. Paragliding. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, Julio, which one do you really want to try of all the things we looked at today? Um, surfing. Surfing. Ah, cool. Yeah. All right. Have some patience. Uh, Ken, how about you? Any mm -hmm. of these activities you'd like to try? Camel ride. Camel riding. Awesome. <laughs> Let's go, trip to Australia. Get some yeah. advice from Carolina. My, my father have, have done that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Okay. Thanks a lot. Very enjoyable conversation, everyone. But I am out of time, so I will bid you adieu now. And see you again soon, I hope. Take care, guys. Thank you.